Welcome back to another frugal vlog. Hope you guys are doing good. Double fisting things today. I have a secondary camera. I'm taking it out. I'm going to use it to grab some highlights and stuff while I'm wandering. Thought I'd take a walk down to the botanical gardens. It's been five or six weeks since I've been down here. Things have changed. Uh, when I came down here before, everything was definitely heading towards fall. Like a lot of the flowers had stopped blooming and um, now I've been looking, most of the trees have lost a lot of their leaves. Uh, I'm expecting a lot more of that to happen. Uh, the reason I'm doing this today, uh, and I'm recording this Saturday, the 7th? I don't remember which day it is. Uh, the day before this goes live. <laughs> so yesterday to you guys. Um, I'm recording this on Saturday. We have a weather system coming through this evening. Um, there is the storm Philippe. It was a hurricane. It is no longer. It's a. I don't even know if it's still a tropical thing, but um, we're expecting to get some uh, rain and wind this evening. And my expectations is that that rain and wind will knock out whatever leaves are left that are just holding on. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to clear out everything, but. A lot of the beautiful colors I expect to be less bright tomorrow. Um, we're expecting about 10 hours of uh, poor weather. Um, it was kind of funny. My father the other day was posted to me and said that uh, you know, he was worried about the storm. And I'd heard of it, but it wasn't really tracking up here, like, uh, like in our media. Uh, I could go to the Weather Channel and see news on it, but it wasn't front page news or anything along those lines. Um, my father was concerned, which is great, you know, um, but it wasn't a concern up here. Uh, as of right now, we don't have uh, any hurricane warnings or anything along those lines. We have a rainfall warning. Uh, we're expecting uh, 40 to 60 millimeters, I do believe it said, so not tons of rain. A lot, but not tons, so nothing exorbitant. Uh, so, now my intentions were obviously this week to get some different footage and put together a proper concise video. It didn't happen. Um, my plans all fell apart, which tends to happen from time to time. And I think this is the direction I go. Uh, last weekend we had a holiday. This weekend we have another holiday. Uh, last weekend was Truth and Reconciliation. It's a fairly new holiday here in Canada, especially for a a statutory holiday so had a three-day weekend last week and my intention was to go out I did go out on Sunday um, but the rest of the time I was just tired um, as I've mentioned I've been pushing myself to walk a lot more and uh, it finally caught up and my body was like you know what maybe just ease off a little bit so um, just didn't have the energy for walking and which was okay I stayed in and Got a bunch of uh, gaming done. I played uh, the new update to Cyberpunk 2077. Loved it. I've not played the new DLC for it yet, but I played the patched version of the original game. Changed it completely, and I really enjoyed the changes, so that was nice. Um, and you know what? Some days it's nice just to sit in and play video games and chill out. So it was nice. It was a good weekend. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, during the week, I had to... Oh, you hear the sound? Love it. Haven't heard the sound of leaves in a while. Uh, so during the week, I had, uh, I had to go to government offices getting my passport renewed. Uh, anybody that has ever been to a government office knows the trials and tribulations of dealing with uh, bureaucracy. It wasn't bad. Um, mostly, what I needed to do was to... Uh, check and see what I actually needed to get done. I had uh, a recently expired passport and I just wanted to double check to see what I needed to do. I knew I could renew it. You know, just because it was expired doesn't mean that I had to start all over from scratch. So I double checked and they said, yeah, we need to renew it. We need to do pictures and here's a form to fill out. And, you know, so I did the, I did the things. And I like to go to the office to get these things done because like with anything, you deal with the professionals, 
you know, these are the people that this is what their job is. They know what forms to fill out. They know the restrictions. They know the regulations. So I will defer to their judgment. So I'm glad I did. Because I've done in the past where I think I know what I'm doing and I get the wrong form. And you get in and they're like, no, you need the slash B, not the slash C. Here's a new form to go fill out and go sit down. <laughs> so I got the right form at the first time. So very happy I did so. But yeah, everything's submitted. Just waiting on... I think I gotta wait 10 days. That's what they said. And uh, I should have everything ready. So I'm excited. But once I get that, I can finish filling out the rest of the stuff I need. Um, double checking on the things that are necessary for traveling abroad. I'm gonna need to get some shots, it looks like. Um, which I was kind of expecting. So not the end of the world for me at all. Um, I'm going to get, got to organize that too. I want to get it done. I just mushed an apple. That was gross. It felt like I was slipping on poo. <laughs> I just double checked it was an apple. Oh man. Anyway, uh, you know what? For posterity, just to double check. Because, you know what? I, I mentioned it, so I may as well show it. There are a plethora of apples on the ground here. Uh, I assume this is the apple tree. There ain't nothing there. Um, it smells of apples <laughs> as well. So, yeah, that was a weird random thing. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, going to get some shots done and get that all taken care of before I go. And uh, I'm going to do it a couple weeks prior to leaving. So uh, my last day of work is November 1st. So I'm going to try to schedule it in around then. Uh, so that that week that I'm planning on doing nothing anyway. If I have any adverse reactions to it. I'm going to be home. Don't have to worry about missing work or anything. Because um, I don't want to deal with that. I have uh, about 100 hours and change of uh, vacation left over. That I'll be getting in a lump sum. So I don't want to, you know use any of that if I don't have to. I'd rather work the job and get everything at the end, you know? So, um, get some uh, berries here that I would add them. So anyway, uh, <laughs> distractions. So yeah, I've been uh, getting things organized for the trip. Um, checking out my gear. One thing that I want to make sure I have set up and done properly is that I want all my tech to be working in the shape that I want it to be working in. And I wanted to change my workflow a little bit. Um, I've been recording everything at 4K and doing 30 frames per second, and it's fine. You know, it does what it does. Um, but the problem with that is the file size can be quite large. <laughs> and I don't always know what I'm going to be able to use for data when I get overseas. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. But my thoughts were is like, you know what? Try to change things up before you go. Try to make things a little bit easier to digest for yourself and see what you can do. Um, and I've also not been completely sold on the quality that I've been able to get out of my cameras. Not that the cameras are doing anything wrong. It's user error. I know that. Um, but I'm not liking the 4K30 as much as I used to. Um, so what I've done is I was paying attention to a couple of other content creators. And one was using the new Insta360 GO 3. Now I'm not buying it, I'm not getting it. Um, but the thing with that is it will do 2.7K at 60 frames per second. And I was digging the quality that he was able to produce. And what he's doing is he's shooting at 2K, 2.7K, and then scaling it down and rendering it at 1080p. And he says that it was working better. And it, it looked like it. Like the quality that he was able to produce was outstanding compared to what I think I'm getting. So, uh, so last weekend when I went out, I brought the camera with me and my intention was to um, to test 
it in low light situations at 2.7k 60 and i wasn't recording for anything other than just record like it was just testing and i was also able to uh get inspiration to make a couple of shorts while i was out using my action cam the action and uh action 4 the dji action 4 i guess we were going to call it and i dug it like i dug it a lot um so it's inspired me to do more so that's what today is all about is it's all being shot at 2.7k i even brought out my 360 camera put it on single lens for a little bit and during part of my stroll with the single lens i did uh just record some footage of it using a single lens going forward at 2.7k 60 just to see so i don't quite know how everything's turning out yet we'll find out in post but uh, i'm excited to see how well everything turns out but like i said there's been a lot of uh, a lot of things that i'm going to be doing Ooh, look at all the bees that is a lot of bees really enjoying that not too sure how well this is transitioning to you guys but i see a ton i will leave the bees i was going to go wandering in there but uh according to little kids i hear that there's too many bees <laughs> But as you guys can see, a lot of the the flowers are gone. They have stopped, which is amazing. But yeah, uh, this was beautiful. <laughs> I needed this today. I did. I have been uh, not stressing myself out. I've been slightly overwhelmed. Um, Again, this this trip, <laughs> this new life adventure, it's all my own doing. And it's something I've been planning on doing for a while. But for the past few years, it's been something that's like, oh, I'll get to it someday. And now that I put a definitive timeline to it and that I am working towards it, and now I'm looking at in about a month to a month and a half, I'm going to be overseas. <laughs> And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's that soon? Because as you get older, time flies, man. Like, it does not slow down at all. And it's wonderful. But uh, I'm looking forward to getting overseas. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how life is outside of North America. It has been way too long since I have left... Uh, this continent and uh, you know I don't know how long I'll be gone for you know there's that part of you that thinks it's like oh, you know three months in Vietnam that's a good trip and then I'm thinking it's like well that's only part <laughs> if I'm over there I want to see Thailand I want to see Cambodia I want to see Laos I want to see Malaysia I want to see all of you know Southeast Asia that's not something I can just do in a short period of time so as I'm looking at it and planning my itinerary, I'm looking at like six months to do it half-assed and I'm probably two years if I want to actually do everything I want to do. And um, <laughs> I wish I had the money for two years, but I don't currently. So, which is again kind of goes back to the uh, why I say the things I say at the end of these videos. If you like my content, oh please, <laughs> like it, share it, comment, subscribe, help the algorithm if you can, it is appreciated. Um, as of right now, I'm putting out content every day, uh, doing shorts, uh, six days a week, and one long form content piece uh, a week. Uh, that will change slightly as I can. Uh, it will change to it still be daily. Uh, you may get two or three long-form pieces. Uh, and I may maintain shorts throughout the week as well. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thank you so much for the support. 
Uh, there is a link below for coffee. Uh, I set it up. Don't feel obligated. You see it, I'm just wondering what the hell it is. It's just to uh, another way, making a little extra money while I'm traveling if I can. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.